So let's look at the settings you need in the in the radio. So we'll I think we'll look at my preset first. I then I think that's that will show a lot of the settings. So we go menu two. We'll go to preset. We'll go down to the one I'm using, which is says here in use. I can unload it and we'll hold it like we're going to change it. Now this I've seen notice that the, this this setting does work for JSA as well. So just hold it down and then um, we'll click edit the preset memory. Oh, it's in use, so that's fine. So we'll uh, unload it, yes, and then we'll hold it, edit the preset memory. Now let's look down through all the setting. So you can name it, of course, mode, USB D, filter one, filter bandwidth. A lot of these I haven't changed, filter type. USB output select, it says AF, 50, 50, 50. Now this one's really important. The, uh, you want data mod to be, let's just see if we can dim it down a bit so you can see a bit clearer. That's better. Data mod to be, I'll just go to the top and just let you scroll down through. And then, so data mod, wireless LAN, very important. Data off mod, mic USB, and then comp, the rest are like, these are all pretty much defaults, haven't changed these. Uh, CS, CIV USB off. So there you go, let's scroll back through, get all that in your radio, and you will have the settings you need. Now I will look at the, just go into the radio ones, just mod input look. Mic USB, data off mod, mic USB, and actually, do you know why it's showing that? Because I'm not in it. So we'll let's go in it, because that was slightly wrong. Preset, go to the FT8 wireless. I mean, this is so good. Load preset memory. And now if we go menu set, connectors, and Go into the mod look now it's wireless LAN. So that these are the correct ones. LAN, mic USB, 5050 is what I use. Um, I think that's all you need to know, really. You've seen all the other ones. So get all that into your 705. Um, and then what you'll find, if I just pause a sec and I'm gonna connect the radio to this the laptop, because what you have to, what's really important is that the Wi-Fi connection on your laptop has to detect the the wireless LAN here. So obviously turn it on, menu, set, go to the wireless LAN. Now you you get a choice here. When you go to wireless LAN, you turn it on, it'll just go boop, and you won't realize it's gone on, but it has gone on. So when setting it up, tap connection type. Now this is the bit that confused me. You've got two connection types. One is station connector network and one is access point and you want to choose access point but just because you've chose access point doesn't mean you've set it up yet so then go when it's turned when wireless line is turned off you can you can change the username and password so I'll show you anyway so what we we'll do is we'll we'll turn it off and it just goes but it makes you feel like it hasn't changed turned it off if we go back, look, it's vanished. The little white square has vanished. So go menu, set, wireless LAN. While it's off, like I said, choose access point type. We'll talk about station another in another video. Go back, then go connection settings access point. See the way I've I've called it IC-705. So what that means is that when this when this is running as an access point, an access point just means it's sending out its Wi-Fi, just like your router is at home. Yeah, but it's not connected to the internet when it's an access point. But anyway, you set the password, and you need to remember these two things: the username and password when you're when you're setting up the RSBA1 server and connecting the radio. So write these down SSID positive that you have created and the other one that's really important is write down this IP address now this doesn't seem to change you probably can change it but as far as I can see it just stays at 192.168.59.1 really important that you get write all this down so anyway I'll, I'm going to show you mine connecting so what we'll do we'll go set 
wireless LAN. We're going to turn it on. And um, if you have a listen, I'll turn it up a bit. Listen to what it does when I turn it on. It just goes boop. You don't really realize it's done it, but it has. Go out and you'll see this white square. So I'm going to pause and I'll show you what happens when you know it's connected. But I'll probably just show you on the computer. So we're at the computer. Now we click the white, the Wi-Fi. Normally I connect here. This is for internet. But we're not connecting for internet. We are connecting for um, to connect the laptop or computer with the Wi-Fi to the ICOM 705. So if I click 705 and then click connect. Now if I go back to the radio. Um, sorry about this. Just angling it up. Right, I know it's not a great picture, but it will show you. Now when it connects, it, the word wireless LAN will appear here. Give it, a, it doesn't take long. Now I've noticed that the, word, the wireless LAN word actually only appears when, so, so we're on the server, I'm gonna show you how to do this server part, but just when you get to this point after you've set this up, so I, I'm connected now. It says here connected by uh, basically Wi-Fi to my, um, there's the IP address, 192.168.59.1. Um, and the UDP is 5001. And that's default anyway. Anyway, and there's my user ID that you saw. But I've noticed that it's, you don't see the word wireless LAN appear on the actual radio until you go to the radio list. And there's again my settings and I, I will be going through these again in a minute when you hit connect here yeah it gives you a virtual serial port number 15 click OK and now when we go back to the radio you can now see the words wireless LAN appear up here so you know if you've got to this point you're ready to go uh, so right okay we'll uh, we'll uh, bring this into the other collection of videos